member for Coomba. Thank you. Um, I would like to start by congratulating um, yourself, Speaker, to, uh, uh, to this place and all new and returning members um, to this place. And hopefully this time, and I'm sure we will, uh, this term is a very productive one for all of us. Um, it's a great, great privilege to rise. I'll ignore that. Great privilege to rise in this address and reply debate to deliver my second speech as a state member for Kawangba and as a proud third-term MP in another Palaszczuk government, one that's been returned with an even larger majority. Yeah. To start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which the parliament meets, and I pay my respects to their elders, both past, present, and emerging. Always always seem to refer back to the words I used when I rose in this place in the 55th Parliament as a member for Kalanga gave my first speech. I said then, to say my life had changed dramatically in recent times was an understatement. Um, speaker, these words still apply. In my first term, I must say I had a very steep learning curve coming from an electrical project management role on construction sites in high voltage substations to this place. Um, I have to say, though, representing members of the community was somewhat familiar ground. Having been a workplace union delegate in my previous employment, um, the change was I still got to represent people, but a lot more of them. <laughs> and and uh, my second term as a member for Kawangba continued on this with a largely new area to represent. And then the world changed. COVID-19 was thrust upon us. The whole landscape shifted. I'm sure everyone in this place felt the enormity of representing their communities in those early days of uncertainty, anger and fear from all angles. Watching my neighbour, the then Minister for Health and Ambulance Services and member for Burumba, Dr Stephen Miles, along with our Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk and Chief Health Officer Dr Young, front up every day to give the latest news, whether good or bad, while undergoing the same turmoil in their private lives, filled me with pride to be part of the response to this shocking virus. Um, also, I just, what did impress me, our teachers, our health professionals last year, just, just what they, they, they put up with every day and they kept going and going, that did impress me. What didn't impress me was the constant undermining and sniping from the opposition members and certain parts of the media. Um, sixty times the borders were asked to be open. Hanson and Palmer taking over 60 times, 64 to be exact. Okay, thank you, I'll take that interjection. Hanson and Palmer taking legal action to try to force open the borders. Reprehensible. If ever there was a time to be pulling at the same end of the rope, 2020 was that time, Speaker. They just didn't get it and the election results showed that. Had little old ladies coming up to me on polling booths, and this, this is something that doesn't normally happen, asking for a selfie with me so they could prove to their friends and family they were voting Labor for the first time because we kept them safe. I, I think that means we did represent the community well and we did get it right. And speaking about the election time, for the record, the shameful stuff from, I know, Cherish Life, whoever was putting it out there, that both my LNP and One Nation candidates were openly displaying, unashamedly working together as a team with, it turned off way more voters than they attracted, I've got to say that. Better go back to the drawing board with that. Even some of my well-known political detractors in my area, um, uh, they expressed extreme disappointment in that gear. They said it wasn't on. Um, we've been able to achieve a lot in first and Kalanga and now Kawangba. I'm proud to be able to list some of these achievements. Uh, with my neighbour, Deputy Premier, we'll soon be opening the community centre that we've received funding for when Kalanga was still an electorate. And uh, Dr Miles has built on this and made it into an impressive looking place will soon be manned and servicing both of our communities. Similarly, Dacobin Station. Before there was Riverway Drive, there was Dacobin Station. <laughs> and and it, it doesn't even resemble the simple rail siding that I inherited from my predecessor. Soon be, it will soon be completed with a full upgrade, including more parking, with further car parking to come on the Narangbar roadside. I thank Gemma Gale and the Dacobin Station Action Group for their advocacy, persistence and patience. Um, while talking about rail stations, we've delivered an amazing new park and ride at Lawton Station and have been planning more parking at Narangbar Station as well as an upgrade of Burpengary Station for disability access. We've delivered the Boundary Road Highway Interchange and work has started on the Deception Bay New Settlement Road Interchange that my friend, um, the member for Bancroft and the member for Morrowfield um, and I, we've long campaigned for that. 
Ironically, we copped some flack from our LNP federal member for Longman about this project being delayed, and he had to be informed the delay in this project was because the Newman LNP government removed it from QTRIP, and we had to get it back in. That gentleman's made a few own goals, and that was one of them. Um, just to finish on road, road projects underway in Kawongba, the Petrie roundabout will not be a roundabout for much longer, as work has started to confirm, con convert this long-term bottleneck into a free-flowing intersection. Speaker, we've committed to have completed or in the process of delivering a lot of community infrastructure, and due to our partnerships with Council, um, my community will see a brand new tennis centre in Narangbar with six courts and a new clubhouse. New change rooms at the mighty Pine Rivers Bears to assist them as they take on not only being Moreton Bay's only BRL club, but also they're now fielding women's open teams and doing quite well. New change rooms and amenities at Narangbar Ranges for the lower fields. Um, there has been an, uh, upgrades at Narangbar Crows and Burpengary Brumbies Clubhouse. It's exciting to be part of the delivery of a great new soccer facility at the northern end of the Kawongbar electorate, which now houses the Kabulcha Sports Fo Football Club. A big loss for my northern neighbour, the member for Moray Field, but we've given him permanent visiting rights. <laughs> Speaker, the air conditioning upgrades to our Kawongbar schools are underway, and we're looking forward to the solar upgrades to accompany this. We have money for Jinnaburra State School to complete their outdoor learning area, as well as their upgrade to the admin block. Petrie State School is currently getting new security fencing, and Narangbar State School will get disability access to their admin block. Lawton State School has seen the start of works on their new hall, and I have a great deal of pride in being able to secure this for them. And I thank Minister Grace for her visits to the school and support for this. They're also getting a new admin building uh, to provide disability access and more learning spaces. Lawton's needed some love for a long time, and very, very pleased to be able to deliver that. Um, I recently visited the new three-storey Phoenix building at Burpengary State Secondary College, as well as opening the new STEM building at Genesis Christian College that we, that we helped to fund as well, so our high schools haven't missed out either. Also on education, our Moreton Bay campus of the University of the Sunshine Coast opened just before COVID hit and promptly had to change its delivery of courses. However, it is still one of the most exciting things to have happened in our community. It's doing well with remote learning and the community is looking forward to the opportunities that it'll bring as it grows and thrives as we get on top of this pandemic. Speaker, in health, we're delivering a major redevelopment of Caboolture Hospital, as well as a few new satellite hospitals in the Moreton Bay area. We've restored the wall at Lake Kawongba and skiers, paddlers, rowers and fishers can all enjoy the lake as now a purely recreational lake. All these projects are providing jobs for tradies in our Moreton Bay community. That's what we promised and that's what we're delivering. One more great asset in, in Kawongba is Lakeside Raceway. I make no secret of my passion for this place. Speaker, in the last parliament, our Transport and Public Works Committee undertook a report into motor recreational activities to highlight what MRAs bring to our communities. I encourage all members to read that report because we all have enthusiasts in our areas and their needs are important as well. I look forward to continuing to help Lakeside to be a place where Queenslanders can experience not only motor racing, but other forms of entertainment, as well as driver training and other endeavours to make it a success story. A few detractors should not ruin an amazing nostalgic place like this for the broader community, and we'll keep working to get a solution that works for the Kwongba and the motor racing communities. Speaker, as you'd know, it takes a team to campaign for and win an election. And I'd like to thank all my team, uh, members of my branches, uh, Pine Rivers Kawongba branch, Petrie Lawton branch and Narangba, and specifically, and there's a bit of a list here, the Doyles, who are more family than friends, Lynn Waugh, Diane Lance Baker, John Targoose, Mika Marie Gillum, Janine Aitken, Jason and Vic, Ernie Ring, Rick O'Sullivan, Rhonda, Patty and Kerry, Scott Reishman and Kate, Ongi, Andrew Irvine, Keegan Scherf and Taylor Bunag, Shane Urquhart, Bruce Humphreys, Jim Maloney, Liam Baker, Tom and Steph, Marie, Bob Crombie. Thanks to Ed Nixon from the Burpengary Community Association. I always appreciate his advice. Very few people know the Burpengary community like Ed does. Dan Parcell, Kevin Butt, Shelley and Roger, Ronnie Coleman for driving me around and listening to me rant all election day yet again in one of his lovely old cars. 
Thanks to the team from Powerlink and the electricity supply industry, they never forget a mate. The mighty electrical trades union. I joined this union in the early 90s and have never regretted that decision for a moment. Shane Comerfeld and the R RTBU crew, Barry, Tom, Jamie, Anthony, Jim, Luke and Kelvin, the Kwong Bar SEC and once again all our branch members and friends who turned out. The whole Mogridge family, always there when we need them. Linda Labarch and her family, I can't say how good it is to have the former member for Kwong Bar on your team. Her advice is always amazing as is being her friend. Young Hamish, a guy I met on pre-poll who just wanted to come and help, what a good kid, he's got a long way to go, a long, big future ahead of him. Glenn Frew, Eddie and Jeff, Ian, Michelle, McJanet, Jeff and Anne, John and Gail, Nick and Jerry, who are always there when I need them. Lloyd and of course Bonnie, who never lets me down. And Team Kawongba. None, um, none of us would be able to do our jobs without a great team. And I've heard others in this place say they've got the best. I dispute that. I've got the best. Um, so thanks to Team Kawongba, Leanne, Lorraine and Katie uh, for keeping everything under control, including me. <laughs> thanks also to your families for putting up with the stress that working in an electorate office can bring. Thanks to my family, as always, for being there. Um, ben and Ella, who since the election have given us a beautiful little granddaughter. Um, and uh, Natasha and Nicole and their families. My dad, who went through this for the first time, and it was an eye-opener for him, I can tell you. <laughs> and my long-suffering wife, Ange, just for being Ange. Um, we will get that 25-year wedding anniversary holiday in some time. COVID wrecked at this time, but before our 30th anniversary, I promise, Ange. Um, Member, I'll just interrupt you. You've got a pause the clock, please. Um, you've got eight minutes left. I call the member for Kwongba. Thanks, Speaker. Um, finish off where I, where I left off. Uh, there's one more person in his family who I have to thank for starting me on this journey. Sadly, he didn't make this one. Um, Peter Simpson was a fighter for the union and labour movement. Yeah. And um, I'd just like to uh, acknowledge um, his contribution. I know he thought the world of the Premier and what we were doing, and he would have been very proud with the result. Um, also thank his wife Penny for being there with him at the time. Must have been a tough gig, but she was up for it. So. Um, speaker, I wouldn't be here in this place, but for the trust the constituents of Kuangba have placed in me, I thank e each and every member of my com community, whether or not they voted for me, for con contributing to the great democratic traditions of this state. Thanks to also to the wider labour movement for your support of my efforts to return to this place. I'm constantly amused at how those opposite demonise the Queensland union movement who spend every day looking after workers' health, safety and the things that make workers' lives better. Particularly, I'd like to thank Peter Ong at the ETU, Gary O'Halloran at the Plumbers' Union, Rowan Webb at the AMWU, Michael Clifford at the QCU and Alex Scott from Together. Your members are well served under your leaderships. No campaign successful if the hard work isn't put in at an organisational level. Thanks to the team at the ALP State Office, led well by Jules Campbell. Thank you. Your contribution has been really appreciated. Um, thanks also to my Moreton Bay Regional uh, Parliamentary and Council colleagues, Senator Anthony Chisholm, members for Redcliffe and now Pummerstone, Morayfield, Murumba, Bancroft, Fernie Grove and Pine Rivers, and their staff. Thanks also to the assist, um, for their assistance and cooperation over the past three years and into the future. To Mayor Flannery, Councillors Gillam, Tonks, Booth and Grimwade, as well as former Deputy Mayor Charlton, working with you has been great and by working together our residents achieve so much more. Special mention also to our former Mayor, whose vision helped bring us the rail line to Redcliffe and the University. Speaker, there's more work to do in Kawongba and I look forward to continuing to deliver for my community. I stand proudly on my record. I thank locals for putting their trust in me again. It's an honour and a privilege to represent them in this place, and I'll keep kicking goals for Kawongba. Yeah. Speaker.